Hello everyone, I'm going to show you today how to make a simple prayer board. Now what you're going to need to start with is a piece of cardboard. Um, and I have found some packaging that I had. I had a book come in this one. And what I've done is that I've cut this piece off and I have a piece of card like this. Now, you could, if you wanted, use an old box. You could cut this out and then just cover this bottom bit as your base for your prayer board. But I'm going to use this piece here that I've got. Now, you could actually just decorate it yourself if you wanted to. You could paint it if you've got some paint. Um, you could draw some patterns on. Um, you might have some wrapping paper um, or even some silver foil. Anything that you've got at home that you would like to put on here. I found some paper that I had and I'm actually going to put this on my prayer board. And this has got two different colours on. And I'm going to put it on like that. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use some sellotape just to stick the sides down just to make sure that they are secure. Now, if you haven't got any sellotape, don't worry. You could use some glue. Whatever you've got at home. And I will do the same with this side. I've left this bit at the top because um, I probably put some holes in there so that I could actually hang it up and it just gives me a bit more um, space. And if I wanted to, I could write something on the top as well. Now, there's lots of ways that you can use your prayer board. And one of the first things that I'm going to put onto my mine is what it is. I'm going to put in the middle, let us pray. And I'm going to stick this on here in the middle. Now, I hadn't got a piece of card, so I used an envelope. I found an envelope at home. You could use paper, you could use card, whatever you have. And that's just very simple to put in the middle. You could, if you wanted to, use some twine, some string, and you could stick this over like this. And then you could use some paper clips like these and you could just attach to there like that. You could also put some more string down here, another one across here and then you could use the paper clips again to um, put other things that you'd like to pray for. Now I found a card that I bought a while back. Loved with an everlasting love, Jeremiah. So I would quite like to put that onto my prayer board. I also would like to pray for people who are sad. So I've just got a post-it, got a pack of post-its, I've just used a post-it and that will stick itself on, just on there like that. You can use your prayer board for pray for whatever you feel you'd like to pray for. Another suggestion is to have a look for pictures in magazines. I saw this picture of this family. So I'm going to cut this out. You may have a picture of your own family that you could put on your prayer board, but it doesn't matter. You could use any picture and then you could pray for families, especially your own, especially at this time where we're all finding it incredibly hard. So 
just on there I'm going to put the picture of the family. Now you could if you wanted to put your picture onto a piece of cardboard to make it a little bit more stable and and put it on so that you could take it off and use it again. This is just an idea to show you what you can do. You may want to use the sheet that I have provided that has some little nice little um, frames on and you could write in there who you would like to pray for. Just cut them out and then put them on your prayer board. Tags are quite good. You might have some tags that you've you've saved or some tags that are left over from birthdays or Christmas. And then you could write a prayer on there and put it onto your prayer board. Obviously, you can make your prayers look pretty as well. And if you have some paper, I just found this piece of um, card that I had, you could use some gel pens and then you could write on here who you would like to pray for so I'm going to write Lord please pray for all my friends so I've just written that with a gel pen and then if you wanted to, you could put some flowers on or whatever you want, patterns, anything really. It's just to help you to remember who to pray for and to give them to the Lord. Just doing a little flower. I'm sure you can draw much better flowers than I can draw. And there's a little flower and there's my little prayer, which I could put up here. I might make round the outside. I might do some more patterns round there. I'll just um, do a little pattern at the top. I think it looks a little bit bare there. So I'm just going to do a little pattern up here. There we go, just to the end. And you could do that all the way round. You also could put on your um, prayer board um, verses from the Bible. Maybe there's a verse that you are looking at at the moment with your family or from Sunday school and you would like that to go on. So you could put that on there so that you can look at it. So I hope that's given you some ideas and things that you will have at home. I'm absolutely sure that you will have some pens, even highlighters. You could use highlighters as well. Um, or, and... You could make it really jazzy by putting some um, nice sparkly tape on. This is left over from Christmas. So you could go around the edge and put a nice sparkly uh, pack piece of um, tape over your prayer board. I hope you've enjoyed that and I'd love to see what you make as well. So if you'd like to send uh, any uh, pictures, um, as long as you have your parents' permission, that would be really lovely. Take care. Bye.